Red and Blackwood is not the only one out here. There's a lot of other companies and people doing great things. Welcome guys, my name is Deandra Bolton. I apologize for the sound of my voice. I'm going through allergies and possibly a bit cold. Uh, a cold, I just finished from travels and went straight into work, so my body was really stressed and overworked, but <sighs> I digress. This is gonna be a little bit of a story time, so just literally fast forward and go to the goodies if you want to just see them. But from the title, this is about Tori Sudan. If you have not watched my black owned brand um, wish list of February, and also I did review one of the items from Tori Sudan that I already had in my collection that I thoroughly love, um, I will link those videos down below for you so that you can see and what they have to offer and other brands that I would recommend as well. Now, Tori Sudan, I am kicking myself in the foot that I did not take a chance on them sooner in terms of buying more items. They started off as a shoe brand, and um, I, I did mention this before she started off. She learned everything fashion and design related for shoes in Italy, and all of her products are made in Italy. So you're still getting that good designer quality that you're getting, I would say, at some of these higher brands. However, she has now started to go into handbags and I was kind of hesitant and so forth and I was just like you know what I'm gonna take a plunge um, and I'm kicking myself in the foot that I did not do it sooner because I already knew her quality in her shoes and why did I not think that it would transcend into her handbags however nonetheless let's go into the first item which is a shoe now it came in this box which is different and I'll show you what they normally come into but as you can see it says Tori Sudan made in Italy, hopefully that's coming up. And I have my computer, I don't know if you're seeing all of this at the side. This is the shoe. I'll give you a 360. It does have a metal point tip. This is the bottom of the shoe. All right, and inside it literally says, I'll take out the stuffing. It says Tori Sudan, made in Italy. Now, I don't know if you can tell, although this is a suede, um, like tan beige -ish, oh, not beige, I would say definitely a camel color, caramel color, um, is a nice suede shoe but it's called an iridescent ballet flat. And um, because it has, as you can see, as I keep turning it, it has like a rose gold sheen, has hints of gold, pinks, and a little bit of blues, to be honest. So you can definitely dress this up or dress it down. And the weather where I'm at is definitely, I would say almost coming into summer now because it's, um, pretty much mid-May, so spring is almost out the door, thank God, because my allergies are, is not the greatest right now, but um, as usual, it does have a slight arch support, so, and it's very, very comfortable. So I would definitely say, if you're the type of person who's really picky, and you want to have a beautiful looking shoe, though you don't want to compromise on designs, but comfort and support Tori Sudan is the brand for you there's another youtuber I think her name is May from Mrs. Leia or Leva I'll probably like add her I'm not tag her but just like message her down below to kind of look at this video because she's one of those people that she she's really picky with her um her footwear because she needs it to be comfortable and I think you know I you always have to have that balance in your collection and I would say this is it so um yeah i thoroughly love this shoe i can't wait to wear it i did go half the size up so i did get a 38 which is a 37 and a half and mainly because i have a wide foot and i need extra help at that area of the, my foot here at the broad part however um 
the other shoe that I did review, I got my exact size, which is a six and a half, which is 37. Yes. And I took a chance on that, but that was a sandal, a, a thong sandal, if, if that makes any sense to you. And so I don't have any coverage coming that much on that broad side of my foot to, the, to that extent so I could get away with it and it fit wonderfully. So this is one of the instances where I had to take in consideration how the shoe is being cut and made and knowing what I know about my foot to make the decision of what size to get. But if you don't have those issues, definitely go true to size. You It will not disappoint you whatsoever. So yes, this is the first shoe. Okay, now the second item that I got is one of my first bags from them. And this came in the first package with the shoe. It came in the same box, Tori Sudan, um, nice black box. This one did come with a little card which just says thank you for your business and so forth, which you know is always nice to have. Now, before I show you this item, I just wanna say I was thoroughly happy and surprised because online, they didn't give a full, I would say online in general, they don't give a full expansive details in terms of pictures like you're not getting a full 360 as which you would get in a more um established brand okay and i say more established because not a lot of people know about tori sudan i'm going to be honest there's only one other youtuber that i've found um that has even mentioned them and actually i'm going to link her down below as well and her channel and probably let her see this video because i don't know if she's bought any or has bought any items from them and if she's still thinking perhaps she could buy it I think her name is Lene, uh, Lene Ashley, if I'm not mistaken, but I hope I'm not butchering it, but whatever. So, as I said, it's not a well-established brand in terms of, like, people knowing it, and so that kind of reflects in terms of how much features you will see on their website in comparison to others that are more um, developed. And even though they're not developed, don't make, and I think that was one of the reasons why I was so hesitant. I was thinking it was going to be reflective of their products. But as I said, I already bought the sandal. Why did I think if I knew that product was so good? Like, I don't know how else to tell you that that item is pretty. If you know of um, Taryn Rose, like Taryn Rose is a company that a lot of orthopedics will recommend to people, especially older people who are starting to go into that phase in their life where, you know, um, joints and aches and pains are a problem. And just for them needing the extra support that the everyday shoe doesn't really have, they would say, okay, Tori Sudan. And we found, uh, not Tori Sudan, Taryn Rose. And Honestly, we Taryn Rose came into our lives and our family because our grandmother was having some complications and the doctor recommended that brand and she fell in love with it and so forth. And my grandmother um, definitely had the gall because she loved it so much to recommend it to us, but it's a little bit for mature people. Like you are in your forties and up, you know, and it's just like, no. But for Tori Sudan, I would say it's definitely for a younger crowd. And you'll still get that support and comfort and, you know, things that you need and you're not compromising on designs. So I really don't understand why I took so long to even go forward with other products with her in the be to begin with because the first item that I bought from her was so good. Out of the park. Okay. I digress. This is the Madison Clutch handbag yeah I just had to double check that I said the name correct because um, clutch handbag is exactly the correct words to describe this now it's in the warm color taupe and this is her sign as you can see is gold hardware and you're literally just seeing this profile online and I think it's pretty huge I didn't look at the dimensions, so that's my fault. So if I looked at the dimensions, I would have known that it was a pretty big bag. But look, full 360. I love the quilting pattern. The base is very flat. There's no um, feet or anything like that. 
the magnet is very strong like like it's strong like you don't you don't need no help now let's get into the goodies this is the chain strap here so this is the inside of the bag so it's leather inside and out okay leather inside is a little bit of a different color like a more of a beigey color than or uh because i feel like the this taupe, I really had to go and look up what taupe was because I was like, oh, it looks more mauve. But I feel like when I was looking at the color palette of taupes, taupes can be a little bit of a purplish, beigeish, gray type of color. And this is a wonderful neutral. So, and that's exactly what it is. But it comes into a little bit more of a browner, light beige color inside. Um, you have four card slots right here. One, two, and then three, four. I hope you guys are seeing that. It does say Tori Sudan. I hope you guys are seeing that. It says Tori Sudan made in Italy. Oh, my camera is not the greatest. You do have a zippered compartment right here. Oh, and it is stuffed. Yes, you have a zippered compartment right here um, along with this wonderful open pocket. Wonderful. And then right here are your D-rings in which you can put your um, your chain strap on. This is a very structured bag. I took out all the stuffing, and as you can see, it stands up outright. It doesn't slouch, none of that. It's wonderful. You can literally just hold this as a clutch, be on your way for an evening. You look wonderful. Now, if you want to be a little bit more hands-free or just need a little bit of help, you have your chain strap. Now this is your chain strap. It's not a big length, it's connected together, okay? And the gold pretty much matches the gold on front, but this has more texture to it, okay? And as you can see, it looks a little bit, a tiny bit lighter. I was just making sure it looks exactly how it is in person versus camera. It's a tiny bit lighter than the hardware, but it does not look bad. I tried it on um, I really suck at giving you guys mod shots, but hopefully I'll get better at that in the future. Voila! There you go. And here is the bag. See? It's a lobster clasp, um, what do you call it again, chain strap, so that's easy to put on. Let me see if I can stand this up, stand up and let you see how it is on my person. Okay, I guess that works. You can see it is right on my person, no problem. It looks cute. I'm out in town, I'm out and about. So this is the bag. I like it both ways for sure. I definitely have a lot of outfits in mind that I can use this because this is a beautiful neutral color. The quilting on this is amazing. I would say that the other bag, the quilting is even better, but it's not that the quality is better or anything like that. It's just the surface area of the bag. Like this is, the other one has more surface area, <laughs> okay? Um, but if you are thinking of getting this, definitely do. Let me tell you exactly how much I got it for. I have my computer here. Ooh, did I pay that much for it? I did pay full price for this item. Um, this item um, I paid $328 for. This is Napa leather. And Napa leather, I just found out, is like another way of saying like calf skin or cowhide, depending. It kind of goes interchangeably. Like I really had to look it up, you know? Um, but from what I've seen, and probably I'll get like a definition or a little excerpt and I'll put it on the screen somewhere of what I found from my research of what Napa leather is, or probably put it down in description because most of Tori Sudan's products is described as Napa leather or suede, um, but mostly Napa. So that's what you're getting here. Um, so I bought this for $328 and currently it's still $328 for the flat. And the flat is called the Linda Flat Iridescent Ballerinas. And that one was $295. And I believe there was a bit of a sale on that one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It sold out. Oh, hopefully it comes back in stock. 
I would just say for Tori Sudan, their stuff very rarely comes out of stop, a cope, go back and stop. Once it's gone, it's gone. And that's why I, I love the fact on their website, they'll say four remaining or five remaining or whatever the case may be. So you can kind of jump on it before it becomes final sale, whatever the case may be. Granted, the first shoe that I bought was final sale and it worked out perfectly. So don't hesitate on final sale items. But um, the one time I've seen an item come back in stock, it was sold out immediately. So obviously things are very sought after. And um, as I said, it's not a, a very high profile brand. So I'm very sure it's going to be limited quality. So get it while it's hot in a sense. Um, so yeah, those are the two. So the flat was $295, which is now sold out. I'm sorry, guys. And the Madison Clutch bag in the warm taupe color that I just showed you, I got it for $328. Now, the last item. Okay, so this is the last item that I got from Tori Sudan, and this is reminiscent of the original packaging that I got for the first item that I've ever bought from them. And it's this beautiful, it's huge, it's humongous. <laughs> it's this beautiful burgundy box with the wonderful gold lettering. And it says, Tori Sudan, made in Italy. And then it gives her company um, website at the side here. Actually, on both. Oh, there we go. And it's humongous, but there's a big thing in here. This is a big bag. So let me tell you exactly what this bag is called. It's called the Madison quilted tote handbag and I got it in the green color this is a bag that I mentioned in that wish list video that I just didn't know which color I wanted to get because I was thoroughly in love with the green but if I wanted to be practical and think of um what well, I just thought I wouldn't be able to use the green for a lot of um of my outfits and the black and gold would be a better choice but I'm just like how many black and gold bags am I gonna have like I have two black and gold bags. They're not totes, but um, going out bag. And this is a dressy tote. So I was just like, um, I'm good with that. I don't think I need any more. I'm happy and I'm content. Um, and then I was just like, you know what? I was thinking about it. And I was like, I can wear this bag in a lot more ways than I could. Just get it. I'm very happy I did. So this is bag is coming up a bit more green like a more vibrant green it's more of a huh how should I express this green and that ha uh, is not that vibrant of a green let me see if I come up closer yeah it's a little bit more matted but is not from far away it looks I'll say here it looks good. Yeah, there it looks good. So this is the bag. Here's a 360. It, this one does have feet. Okay. 360. Voila. -la. Now this bag does give me Chanel vibes. I don't know the name of the Chanel bags. I'll put them up as what this reminds me of. I don't, I've never cared for their totes Chanel. Um, as I said, Chanel is like a, a very big hit or miss. Most of them misses. But um, when I saw this, I was just like, this looks so pretty, so decadent. <sighs> I had to have it. Okay. So this is um, Tori Sudan's signature um, quilting pattern. And she has this on a lot of her products. It's like a diamond V pattern. I don't know how to explain it, but... That's the best way for me to express her pattern. So this is the bag. On the top part, however, you have two compartments and then a zippered middle compartment. So let's, oh, sorry. This part is also zippered for security. So that's better, even better. So when I open that compartment, it's stuffed and it's all lined with black lining. 
so it's going to be very hard to see but this is just an open pocket there are no slots there's no other zipper compartments in this zipper compartment it's just an open box or open place where you can just put your stuff as a catch-all pretty much in so um, this is a nice little spot and it's lovely that it's zippered I didn't even notice that and that's what I'm saying about like the pictures there's not much pictures online they just give you like two or three pictures and it doesn't really showcase the whole bag so this is why I wanted to do it not only because they're a wonderful brand but if you were looking at Tori Sudan and you just didn't have enough information for yourself to make a decision here it is now the zipper compartment on top which is also stuffed um, it does go all the way down to the bottom of the bag and so does the front compartment but as I this one also doesn't have any um, pockets or anything like that it's just an open space and I guess you would put more of your uh, more valuable things your wallet your things of that nature your your um, phone I would put things in here but since it's such a it's a black a dark um, what to call it again interior you're not going to be able to understand what can fit in there now this part is just a magnetic closure um, which just opens like so and I can already see a compartment in there and I believe that's the only compartment yes it is so when you open it up you just have this compartment here and it's pretty deep so honestly it's a really big spacious bag um, and the compartments would help you keep more organized which I think I would like for this size of bag it, it does not draw back in terms of how much things you can fit in there whatsoever um, so that is the bag oh I just noticed they did protect some of the hardware okay I'm gonna leave that one there so one thing I would say that I was a bit um, scared of doing I didn't know how noisy this is going to be and if it was gonna throw me off a bit when I put it on my person um, when I did try it a little bit it was like okay I don't hear it as much but as you're moving around like with it just free willy-nilly you are going to hear it, as you have seen with me you know showing you the bag but once you just have it on your person you're not gonna hear it at all anymore um now another thing that I was scared about getting this for I was like I wasn't sure if the gold hardware was gonna make it look tacky in any way and I would say this for the amount that is there is not as bad as I thought it was going to be um, and I'm still happy I took the plunge and I'm happy that I didn't get the black because I think the contrasting I think this color um, is not so contrasting against the hardware where it's so loud in your face I think the black it will definitely be a lot more prominent and I don't think I would like how much gold hardware I'm seeing on the bag for it being a tote like I don't mind it if it's a crossbody or a regular um, double strap um, shoulder bag because this is chunky this is very very chunky so when you're seeing all this chunkiness all over the place it can be a, a bit more daunting than a, a smaller chain strap but I like it I like it a lot I'm happy I finally took the plunge and I'm very thoroughly um, happy of how much space and how compartmentalized it is because you don't get to see the interior on the website you you don't know if it's an open pocket you barely see anything so for me to see that I'm, I'm very happy the quilting on this bag is out of this world um, my first quilted bag was actually a Kurt Geiger wallet on chain bag and from then I fell in love with quilting and I've noticed every designer as you grow up the ladder in terms of the designers that you purchase quilted leather from you will feel the difference in quality of the quilted leather and I would say they're on par here 
Yeah, it's still coming up very green on here. It's, it's more muted. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a better picture for you guys. And I, I really do because I don't want you to think it's a very vibrant green that you cannot wear. I'd say the green is almost like a sort of a neutral green. Um, the only thing that dresses it up is the chains to make it a dressy tote. But if it wasn't there, you could definitely use this as an everyday tote. Um, but it's not as green as it is on picture. So I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah. So I had a little sirens in the back here. I live in the city. It's the normal for me. So yes, all in all, that is what I have recently bought from Tori Sudan. I hope it's not too long. I hope I didn't babble. I really hope if you were even considering Tori Sudan in any facet, if it was their shoes or their bags, this this video cleared up any questions. If you still have more questions, feel free to answer or question or link me, message me down below. I'll definitely answer them because I definitely think Tori Sudan is one of those brands. It's a black owned brand, a owned by a woman, and it doesn't give they, it is definitely under the radar if you're looking for something different if you're looking for something good quality that you timeless I would say because um, they don't really do trendy looks they don't I'm just as I'm talking I'm realizing this they don't really do trendy looks so it's just something that you have to think like I love this it will work in my collection and I'm going to get it And I also want to mention there's one more item that I'm thinking about purchasing. Since I got these items and I realized how wonderful and great the craftsmanship and the quality is of their bags, I have been thinking, and I'll put up the picture on the side, of getting one of their wristlets. Now, the wristlet, I have my computer here. The wristlet is, co is called, I've noticed everything that is like quilted is their Madison collection. So you see them all say Madison, and then they have their Auburn collection and so forth like that. So, um, the Madison crossbody slash wristlet handbag in the color silver. And why I want to get that is because actually on that one, I think someone did leave a picture. Yes. They left a picture of it and there, um, it looked beautiful, by the way. Like, huh. I raved about the silver sandals that I, sandals that I got because it is really beautiful leather and quality and so since I've seen the bags and how they look I was just like I know I'm gonna get this one and what I liked about it is that you, they also have and I think they mentioned this that they have a chain strap so even though it's a wristlet you can wear it as a crossbody I'm like that is so thoughtful you know so it's a wristlet and it's a hefty wristlet like you can put things in there and I think I can also use it like as a catch-all or if, as I want like a little leather pouch when traveling and I think someone was using it in that way and um, they mentioned that they bought Louis Vuitton, Gucci and other purses and it was on par which I already know it is because I have evidence here to show that it's very good quality so and I would say even kind of better but you know that's just me. I would say a lot of these contemporary and affordable luxury brands have been stepping up their notch in terms of what they're providing. And I think it rivals sometimes some of these really big brand name um, brands. So that is the last bag so far. They did come out with the new Auburn collection. And if you love that Tiffany blue color, get it. I don't know if I like that smooth leather look. I don't know if it's really for me, and it seems like it's only a crossbody. Perhaps you can double it. You know, I have ways of doubling up my chain strap so that it can work as a shoulder bag, but I'm not too sold on the color. I don't know if that would work well with me, but they do have it in a nice fiery orangey red and a black and gold. So if that's for you, and you know, Tiffany Blue has been all over the place. Coach has their own version, Tiffany, Fendi, a collaboration and all that stuff like that color has been out very hot this year so I I would say this is the only thing so far that I've seen in the Tori Sudan brand that they've done a little bit of a trend um, but their designs are not trendy you know so um, yeah and that's literally it and then I'm signing off I'm going off to my other stuff because I bought a lot of stuff stay tuned 
Hey guys, sorry, I just wanted to come on real quick as I was packing up everything to store in my already cluttered, bag-filled room. <laughs> um, I wanted to say about their leather. The Napa leather is very smooth. However, when you come up close to it, you can see the fine pebbling nature. So it's not, like, it's definitely something that will definitely wear nicely over time. I don't, it's not something that I'll be very super um, careful with. I'm not joking. Allergies are crazy. Um, yes, it's not something that I'll be super careful with because it does have some texture to it. Um, so I'm not super, super scared about scratches, but I don't want to scratch it either. You know, quilting is definitely something that's very delicate. So I hope I cleared your um, concerns. And if you have never heard of Toy Sudan, and this video has made you look into that brand, please measure me down below and let me know what you've considered buying or did buy. Um, bear in mind, their stuff is not cheap. I would say they're on the lens of a coach to a Tory Burch, depending on your what you're getting from those brands. Not coach outlet, though. <laughs> not coach outlet. Um, but they're definitely like a coach to Tory. So I would say affordable luxury type of um, bracket. <laughs> if, um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Anesu, Anesu Segunda. Um, I love her videos um, and she definitely gives you the hierarchy of luxury and at least what the um, masses, the masses call luxury. So, um, and I would say Tori Sudan definitely falls under the affordable luxury type of um, bracket. And it's very good quality. Um, I don't see these things tarnishing at all. Um, well, most of the stuff, actually, this is the first time I'm buying bags. So let's see how the hardware on these keep up. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> Bye, guys.